Let's say you work for a government organization whose job is to measure the average income of the country. Now there are let's say 23 million people in your country. Now it would be very impractical, time consuming and expensive to go to every person and ask their income and find out the average. In statistical term, this entire data set of people income data set of people in statistical terms it's called the population now instead of going to each and every person and asking their income we can take a sample which is the subset of population sample of people let's say 26,000 people and ask their income and we can find out the average of that now what you will find out that the average of this sample is very close to the average of the population now there is a caveat now if your sample is biased let's say you go to rich households and ask their income neglecting the poor ones you will get a higher average so it's very important that the sample you select from the population the subset should be representative of the population now one method that is applied to select representative population is random sampling in random sampling the probability of any person getting selected is exactly equal to any other so there is no inherent bias in random sampling each and every data point in our case the average income of the person is treated equally so why do we actually need a sample let's say when the population is very small we can just measure the average income or any statistic for each and every person why do we need to take sample now to highlight the importance of sampling let's look at another example let's say you work for a skateboard making company now that skateboard making company wants to measure the strength of skateboards now let's say it makes 500,000 skateboards per year and it wants to measure their strength. Now you just can't go on and bake each and every skateboard to measure the average strength of a skateboard. What you need to do is take a sample of skateboard and break it using a press or a machine and then find out the strength of the skateboard and that's how you can get what's the strength of the skateboard, how much load it 